Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon.
go-go. They have height and cover.
Midigil deployed. Thanks. Visited a Protean ruin before. Aside from the Citadel, I mean. Aside from the Citadel, I mean. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the Veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. 
The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. Think fast, Miss Prothean expert. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. Gonna be close, Skipper.
case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. If not, doesn't matter. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano, 
Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the Conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where do you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half-century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed.
Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me, they do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous lifeforms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers, but I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau, I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well... That is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate... Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. 
I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess! How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not gonna play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. Commander, you have a minute to talk. I keep an open-door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm, I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons... That's enough, Chief. You always second-guess your superiors? Sir! No, sir! I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I think she's being straight with us. Or at least, I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. I don't think she's used to teasing. Good-natured or otherwise. No fun, Commander. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Dismiss, Chief. Sir. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good? He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. 
They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. So long, Rex. Shepard. been really great to me, especially your chief engineer, but I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth it feels like we're not even moving, and the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here, but old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have until it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. I should go. See you later. <laughs>